just three and seven in the league, so they're struggling too. And in a league that's pretty, you know, tough at the top, you know, you got probably some teams that just might make it to the state there. So. humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. today. Good. I'm here to talk about how with technology you can make amazing worlds. Come with me. My team and I groomed the Halo world to life. Is that you? That is me. I wasn't a math genius and I knew nothing about coding. But you guys do. You guys have the power to change things. I want your job. I want you to have my job. at tonight's game. Please remember to support a winning attitude by cheering positively for your own team. And now to honor America and those defending our freedom. We ask that you stand if you are able, remove your hats and headwear, place your hand over your heart for the playing of the national anthem. Thank you, South North Combined Pep Band. And now, for the starting lineups. First, for the Sheboygan North Golden Raiders, 
Number four, Julia Scheriner. Number 10, Sydney Vogel. Number 21, Emma Belmore. Number 23, Meredith Opie. And number 30, Carson Beekler. Head coach, Eric Spillman. Assistant, Keith Conway. And now, your starting lineups for your South High Red Wings. Number four, Maddie Aknazovic. Number 15, Lindsey Horan. Number 22, Abby Urban. Number 23, Hallie Bolt. And number 24, Amy File. Head coach, Sandy Botham. Assistant, Jen Stricker. Michael Thomas. The officials for tonight's game, Tom Hunick, Paul Groman, and Todd Stoffergen. Our official scorer, Michelle Walters. These individuals are registered by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association. Their experience and integrity qualify them to administer the rules of the game. From Aurora Sports Health, Melissa Wood, Dave Stecker, and Jake Schultz. Our game supervisor, Mike Rank. Also, happy birthday, Julia Scheriner. Tell them that, all right, come on. All right, we're ready to start the basketball game. North a little bit slow coming out on the court, Chris, but uh, we finally got both squads out there. <laughs> Grauman uh, tossing Ooh. the ball up. I don't know if the jump ball person can touch it again there. but uh, I know they can't grab it. Yep. Three pointers up and good. That one by uh, Julia Scheringer. It's her birthday today. She's starting the game off nice in that regard. Emma Belmore on the foul there. We mentioned South coming in very, very young. Just one senior, uh, three juniors. Growing pains for Coach Botham, but trying to get better. Hopefully they have a good night tonight. Allie Bolt, a freshman. They're going to call her for a closely guarded five seconds. That'll go as a turnover. We've talked about Hallie before. Just a sophomore, a great athlete. South trying to put the pressure on North, but uh, they don't have any problems uh, breaking it. A layup that time was missed by uh, Scheringer, but uh, the key thing was North didn't have any problems with the pressure, Chris. No. North comes in six and eight, three and seven in conference. South is 0 and 12 and uh, winless in conference. 0 oh, and 8. Following this game, about uh, 20 minutes after, will be the uh, boys' game. As we look around the stands, Chris, the north side seems to uh, have a pretty good contingent. Yeah, look at the south side soon, so they're up there too. Pretty Steve good. I'm very. Happy to see both sides. Student section's full. Yeah, Emma Belmore on that uh, steal. And pass inside is tipped out of bounds. Vogel was the intended receiver. Two 18-minute halves. It's down in Florida, Marty, and they, they stay play, they, excuse me, they still play quarters. I in saw Arizona, those. too. Still yeah. play quarters in Arizona. Good out of bounds play, but uh, Vogel's shot was no good. Remains three to nothing north. Bolt uh, playing the point guard position. Trying to get the girls into the offense. The drive penetration. Nasevic uh, gives it off. That shot by Bolt is no good, and then we have a uh, tie up. Possession arrow points south way. Oh, 
Alyssa Hare coming in. Well, ball is lost. North picks it up. Vogel lost it out of bounds. Another turnover by the Raiders. I was impressed by the pep band, Chris. Oh, makes a big difference when you got two two bands going at it instead of just one. Do a great job. That's just something about you know when you start the game and the band and I mean just I said it, we mentioned that when we started this season off when we were at Kohler and Lutheran and you hear that band it just I don't Add, know, it just gets you excited. Yeah, adds so much to the atmosphere. It does. Uh, North with a steal. Sharinger pass goes to uh, number 21, Hannah Emma Belmore, and she puts it up and in. South has had trouble putting the ball in the basket. They uh, had some games where they didn't even hit 20 points. Yeah, they're averaging just 27 points a game, Marty, giving up 61. And. Uh, you know, you just look at their field goal percentage, just struggling, struggling to make baskets. Yeah. Turnovers don't help, but again, very, very young. There's a big difference between senior players and junior players. In this game total, we have just three seniors. So both teams, very, very young. Matty Ignacevic puts in a couple of free throws and the South is on the board, it's 5-2. Looks like the South girls know where to go. And Three point basket is up and good. Meredith Opie. Good feet inside. Shuffling the feet, not called. Getting the shot off was Amy File. Coast to coast, but uh, missing the layup was Opie. Amy File, one of those seniors. Of the three in the game. Trying to feed it down low was uh, Opie, but she threw it away. Holly Bolt has it. Taking it to the middle and trying to get the shot off was uh, Ignacevic, but it wouldn't go down for her. And then uh, North throws it away. Making that errant pass was Julia Scheringer. Could be a low scoring affair, Chris. <laughs> North with Averaging 18 turnovers themselves, Marty. Oh, a nice pass inside Vogel to uh, Alicia Hare, but uh, Hare not able to handle it. Hannah Martin coming in. <laughs> also checking in is uh, Tori Rietbrock. Dina Bushi, number 21 in for uh, South. She's only a sophomore. That is pretty amazing, Chris, what you're saying about the uh, number of uh, underclassmen on both teams. Yep. Like I said. Bolt with a step through and draws the foul. She'll be on the line shooting a pair. There's three seniors on North. Amy File on South. Bolt, 51% from the free throw line. Also a sophomore. Bolt, 
Well, his first free throw bounces off. Belmore back in. Saw Dave Flynn's daughter in the drum line over there. Oh, I missed her, Ellen. Good tennis player. Uh, by the way, my wife and I drove by uh, Barath Bull today. No tennis courts. Really? Hannah Martin. Wow. The fencing was all down. The uh, supports for the nets were down. The uh, top part. Maybe they're redoing it. I hope they are. <laughs> I can't imagine just uh, taking it down and not replacing. It's, it's about 100 years old, at those tennis courts. <laughs> Our old stomping grounds. Yep. North yet, excuse me, south yet to make a basket. Here's one. File oh. in and out. I thought that was in. Coming away with it for uh, North was uh, Sheringer. That looked right on target. Basket didn't want it. South in a 2-3 zone. See that pretty clearly on uh, your screen. Nice. Pass inside and draws a foul on South. That's going to be their first foul. Kayla Lloyd with a nice, excuse me, Carson Bickler there with a nice feed. Dina Bushi committing that foul. It's 10 to 3 north on top. Chris told you that they're still looking for that uh, first basket. A quick three attempt is way off. That one by uh, Sheringer. Allie Bull taking it baseline, shooting it, no good. Another good shot, good look. Just a basket doesn't want it. Keep shooting it, it's better than turnovers. Exactly. They're gonna get in there eventually. Grabbing that re rebound was Carson Bickler. There's a push. Oh, we're gonna get a travel called on file. That was a tough break. She was battling. Uh, Anna Mart for the rebound and uh, fell down. Travel. Well, there was a push. They pushed five Todd away. Stuffigren handing the ball off, one of our officials tonight. Taking it to the middle and making the basket was uh, Julia Scheringer. She had the first basket of the game and uh, finally scores again. Yep, averaging 12 points a game. One of the people Marty mentioned in the opening. Sixth, sixth in the league in steals, too. That was information for you, Chris, so you could uh, talk some more. Oh. <laughs> I talk plenty. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Losing it out of bounds was uh, Hallie Bolt, but uh, North must have touched the last because they're going to keep it. The Red Wings, Lady Red Wings. Sydney Vogel back in, number 10. 5'9 junior. Oh, wide open for that three attempt, but uh, couldn't get it in was uh, Dina Bushi. Good out of bounds play by the Lady Red Wings. Yeah, they get good shots, they're just not going in. Sharing her shot is no good. Rebound by uh, Stricker. Bolt on a step back two, no good. And we get a foul underneath. They finally call that pish push you saw two plays again. <laughs> Vogel picks up her first foul. A kick not called. Oh, Todd Stuffiger and missed that one. Oh boy. Oh boy. And they don't give it to him. No. Oh boy. That was terrible. 
I think you better get some help. Good, good decision here by the crew. Veteran guys, they know what's up. Good decision. Good job, boys. Tom Hunick, uh, there you see him, is uh, got the discussion going and got the call right. Three very veteran good officials, Marty. Stuffy and uh, Paul are uh, baseball officials, umpires. We got to know them pretty well oh, yeah. over the years. A nice cross-court pass. Bushi caught it but couldn't get the shot off. It's like a little zone here by the Raiders. Uh, I think you're right. Another three ball is no good, but Hannah Martin grabs the board. Vogel on a nice catch and got the shot up and in. Well, she ran the floor, Marty, and got rewarded. Yes, that was impressive. 30-second timeout by the Lady Red Wings. We have exactly 11 minutes left in the first half. Uh, North uh, extending their lead. It's now 14-3. to South 0 for uh, 7, Marty. On the other side, North shooting 41%. You gotta do that math in your head. You can't have that calculator on the counter. That's <laughs> cheating. No, uh, and that, that's, <laughs> math was never my strength. Except uh, for being like, a, I was gonna say being a baseball guy. Except for like batting averages. You can always <laughs> figure out batting averages. You know, the other thing about baseball too is and being a sports guy it really helped. I was a terrible speller, but I could spell like cities. You know, like oh, <laughs> Shreveport, <laughs> St. Louis, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh. You know, you you learn cities. Troy, oh. New York. Could you spell that one? <laughs> yeah. Sheringer, no good. North comes away with it. Vogel able to control it. North getting their offense set up south, still in that 2-3 zone. Well, they've tried different things at North. They've had a little press, zone, man. Trying to switch things up. Good step up D there. Yes. Lindsay Horan. Scheringer on a... Leap and leaner, no good. Got the rebound, put it up. Again, no good. Hannah Martin had it taken away from her. Good effort that time by uh, Lindsey Horan. Did Toby play for you? Yes. Okay, I think that's his daughter. Toby and Mike. Layup is up. That one by Scheringer. Oh, yep, Scheringer. Julia Scheringer. <laughs> Eight turnovers now for uh, South Marty.
Five turnovers, Marty, five turnovers on North. They haven't shot any free throws, have they? For North? Yeah, you can't uh, you can't uh, put the ball in the hoop, and uh, it's not like baseball where you can pitch a shutout. Yeah, and ten turnovers, which uh, we we knew was going to be an issue. So. That seems to be good. At least from what I was checking. All right. Bolt's three point attempt. Again, it's off. North comes away with the rebound. Vogel has it on the wing. North has been able to penetrate the uh, south defense. Either passing or dribbling. Sharing her on a good look inside, but it was tipped away. You can't hear me, right, Not now. <laughs> I don't think so. Sarah Meisner coming in for uh, the Red Wings. North being very patient, working the ball around. I was just thinking that, Marty. Three ball, no good. Vogel with the rebound, her putback is up and in. Kissed it right off the glass. She has four points in the ball game. It's 22 to three. Seven minutes left in the first half. Bolt got away with the travel. And a double dribble. Unit calling that. North looking for, uh, they've been, you, you mentioned this in the opening, Chris, how uh, they started off with a couple of wins and then it seems like they get a win and a loss and a win and a loss and you know, a couple losses. Maybe break that losing streak, but uh, they certainly haven't been consistent on the year. No. Good feed inside to Hare, but uh, she couldn't uh, get the shot in. Ball goes off of a Lady Red Wing. So the Lady Raiders will keep it. Scheringer from outside, around and down for Julia Scheringer. She's been the hot hand tonight for uh, the Raiders. Uh, Meredith Opie came in with uh, as the leading scorer, but she only has three points so far. Shot is up and in by Meisner. First basket of the ball game for the Lady Red Wings. 
Hopefully that'll uh, propel them to uh, make a few more. A good feed inside, but the ball is tapped out of bounds by File. I think she got away with one. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, Chris. As was she. <laughs> Scramble for the ball. Tie up situation. Should point north. Nope. Gonna give it back to south. Horon flips it in the bolt. Rolling down to the uh, 530 mark of the first half. Well, there's a walk. File caught it, did a little hop, and uh, that's where the violation was. Cross court pass to Opie. Good cover up defense by South. Three ball, no good. Rebound, put back is good. Alicia here. We get a foul inside. Julia Scheringer picking up her first foul. Sixth foul by uh, North. Almost a steal by North, but uh, South controls it. Defense too. And oh, almost a steal. Bolt comes up with it, dribbling through the defense, throws it up, but there was a foul called. Allie Bolt was at the line earlier in the ball game and uh, made one out of two. And this is a bonus situation, so she has to make the first one to uh, get the second one. Ignacevic coming in and uh, Rietbrock coming in for uh, North. Ignacevic for South, of course. Bolt couldn't get that first one to go, but uh, we get a whistle. Ball on file. So it's going to be a timeout by the North Siders. Looks like it's a full timeout. Robert, we have time for uh, one commercial. Bring us back. fouls are pretty dumb but if you decide to drink and drive underage you could lose your license and your freedom underage drinking and driving the ultimate party foul uh, back at South High School it's a timeout by uh, Sheboygan North it's 27 to 5 North on top No, I really can't hear you. This is pretty nice. It's all right. <laughs> Don't mind. Good feed inside. The shot is up and in by Norris Tori Rietbrock.
Green Brooks free throw won't go down. File with the strong rebound. Took it right away from her teammate Horan. Her third. Oh, good steal by Sheringer. Fouled on her uh, shot attempt. That one by File again. That's her second. We have uh, under four minutes, and again, South with just that one basket. Actually, that foul went on Hallie Bolt. That's a good thing. Then the uh, file stays with only one. Going old school, Chris. Where are we at the armory? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thirty-one to five. Under four minutes left in the first half. Is another tie-up. Our third of the game. Opie's been sitting for a long time, Chris. Wonder if she's okay. I think with the lead, Marty. It's that way. Ball tipped out of bounds, and then North touched it last, so uh, South will get it. Dina Bushi back in the ball game for the Lady Red Wings. Ooh, that's awfully close, Chris. Over and back. Oh, Bolt on a nice drive to the basket. Scores. That was pretty. Well, you know we get those shots, Marty. They're getting those shots. They're just not going. Right. Good feet inside. Up and in. Vogel on the pass and Rikok with the basket. Ooh. Hard foul right at the uh, top of the key. Top-notch crew here tonight. Robert Ingram, our director. Richard Bartson on camera one. Greg Zablocki on camera two. Eric Wiesman, troubleshooting. Caspian Bink. Nate Free are our student helpers from South High. Chris Wright doing the uh, color, and I'm Mike Martin doing the play-by-play. Seventh turnover on North, Marty. Is that more than South? Just out of curiosity. Is oh, no. North? South is way up there. Okay. Because I know North has been having problems this half anyway with their turnovers. Fifteen turnovers on South so far. Oh, that's bad. Shot is no good. Reefrock fighting, oh, pardon me, sharing or fighting hard for the ball. Another tie-up situation. This time it'll go to uh, South. Speaking of this uh, alternating out of bounds, it's a great, great invention instead of jumping, jumping oh, yeah. it up every uh, time there's a tie-up. Yep. Have we ever mentioned that before on these girls' games? <laughs> Little too much dribbling that time for uh, Bickler. Under two minutes left. Seems like a long half, Marty. Very.
Vogel getting out in front of the crowd. Shot is blocked by Halley Bull. Good hustle by Halley to get back and prevent the easy layup. They get a good shot of Paul Groman. Carrying her. No good. We get it's going north, Marty. Air picks up the foul. Eighth team foul on uh, north. Bushy going to the line. Dina's going to have to make the first to get the second. Couldn't get it to go. Vogel with another rebound, Chris. She's got a few tonight. Yep, she's got four. That's pretty good. Sharing her. Trying to get it inside, but they kicked it out oh. to Vogel for a three. No good. No good. Vogel. Good pick and a foot. Put back and it's in and she's fouled. Good work on the boards, Marty. Just wanted a little more than our Red Wing ladies. Uh, you got that right. Couldn't finish off the three point play, however, it's 35 to 7 north. A rough half of basketball, another steal. Scheringer pulls it back out, setting up the offense. Scheringer feeds it inside to uh, Vogel, but she could not handle it. Lost it out of bounds. Not the best of passes there. Yeah. A couple of Got kids we didn't mention when they checked in, Chris, were Liz Gritzmacher. Maybe she's the only one. Go ahead. Forty seconds left. A lot of bumping out there. Finally, a whistle is blowing. More free throws. There's Gritzmacher. Ignacevic couldn't get that one to go. She was at the line earlier and it happened, man, both of them. Carson Beekler in the ball game. Dangerous pass. Wonder if they're holding for one. It doesn't look like it. I think they're trying to just get the best shot available, Marty. I think you're right. Salt playing good defense. Open three is in and out. Shot is no good, and we're at halftime with North on top, 35 to 8. Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. And frustration, 
a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy and giving up impossible. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought and unconventional methods common. I'm a teacher. I make more. When you have arthritis, it can be a painful reminder of all the things you can't do. Let's get a grip on arthritis. You can help by donating at arthritis.org. Some chores you dread. You do them. But that doesn't mean you're happy about it. Then there's registering with the Selective Service. If you're a young man turning 18, the law says you have to register. It'll keep you eligible for college loans, government jobs, and training, and it only takes two minutes, which makes it not only your most important chore, but the easiest. When you turn 18, register at sss.gov or the local post office. Mom and Dad used to argue about everything, especially about Dad's drinking. My family went from totally crazy to quiet, calm, and even peaceful when Mom started going to Al-Anon family groups. I wanted a better relationship with Dad, so I asked Mom if she would take me to her Al-Anon meetings or to Alateen. I'm sure glad I did. If someone's drinking troubling you, you might be surprised at what you can learn in an Al-Anon or Alateen family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-AL-ANON or go to al -Anon them, sparks from dragging tow chains could cause a wildfire, and that could be scary. Ah, Only you can prevent wildfires. I'm not your charity case. I am not your excuse to buy a new dress for the annual fundraiser. I am not the poster child for your big donation. I am out of debt and in my own home. I am off opioids. I'm graduating on time and on my way to a great job. I am. I am. We are. We are. 
what it means to live united. You're a busy man when you turn 18. But with all you've got going on, don't forget to register with Selective Service. It's the law. It only takes about two minutes to register at sss.gov. And you can do it without even looking up from your phone. Just like that. When you turn 18, register at sss.gov. With Mother's Finances, I wish we had discussed this sooner. It's difficult making decisions for mom. With dad gone, a lot has changed. Seeing my parents age, I worry about their financial decisions. As we age, our ability to make good financial choices decreases. Start the conversation today and plan for the future. Financial resources and tools are available at smartaboutmoney.org, a non-commercial organization focused on your financial success. Check, check, check. The police called check. after midnight when they caught our son at a drinking party. It was a real wake-up call. Check. A policeman suggested we try check, Al-Anon check, family check, groups. Check. I didn't want to go to a check, meeting, check, but check. I'm glad I did. Right, Are you troubled by someone else's on. drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an Al-Anon family group from people just like you. Call 1-888-4-AL-ANON or go to alanon.org. Four out of five women with ovarian cancer will experience recurrence. It's often incurable. Until recently, following chemotherapy, women with recurrent ovarian cancer had to simply watch and wait for their disease to come back. Well, we say, not on my watch. Not on my watch. With maintenance therapies, women can delay recurrence. Awareness of your choices empowers you. Take an informed and active role. Visit notonmywatch.com. Nothing hurts my mom that she showed anyway. We were trained to help others but there's strength in finding help for yourself too. We're in this together. Even the toughest of us might not know where to go to get a little support. The VA Women Veterans Call Center connects veterans with personalized information on VA services that can make a difference. Call 1-855-VA-WOMEN or visit www.womenshealth.va.com. We've all seen that moment in movie credits that says Nothing. no animals were harmed in the making of this film. As a film director, check, I rely check, on check. eight decades of experience American Humane brings to safeguarding animals on set. They consult on scripts, advise on locations, training, veterinary care, and so much more. As a director, nothing is more important than making sure everyone is safe, and that includes the animals on set as well. And thanks to the passionate people of American Humane, we can. arthritis, it can be a painful reminder of all the things you can't do. Let's get a grip on arthritis. You can help by donating at arthritis.org. When I was your age, I was just like you, fascinated by stars. Now I get to search for life in the universe. And who knows, maybe life is looking for us too. So we're like aliens to them? Yeah. Does anyone want to be a scientist now? I do. Awesome. We need more girls in STEM. Maybe we can find aliens. Back at Salt High School, a leading scorer in that first half was Julia Scheringer with 14 points. She was followed by Sydney Vogel with six, Tori Rietbrock with four, South was led by Maddie Ignacevic and Hallie Bolt with 3H and uh, Sarah Meisner with uh, 2. What do you have, Chris? Well, just a struggle for uh, South. Just 14% from the floor. North shot 20 more shots, 34 shots compared to just 14 for South. They shot 38% from the floor. Another big key was what we mentioned in the opening was turnovers. Is it going to be an issue for South? It was 17 turnovers. For South North wasn't exactly the best either. They had nine, but just think of that. 20 more shot attempts for uh, one team than the other. And I thank the crew for their hard efforts during halftime to uh, get the microphone situation uh, squared away. Eric Reis uh, Weisman and uh, Robert Ingram doing that. Uh, 
We tried to get as much of the band playing at halftime, but uh, trying to fix the problems took, uh, a, took us away from that. We'll try to get the pep band a little more at halftime of the uh, boys game. But uh, we're, teams are out on the floor and we're ready to get started. Yeah, thanks to Eric Weisman for. Yeah. It's always nice to have Eric around. He's uh, Mr. Troubleshooter. <laughs> right, Eric? <laughs> Mr. Troubleshooter. Well, here's a different look on defense by South. Skip pass to Sharing, or she's had the hot hand tonight with 14 points. Couldn't get that one to go. Yeah, she's uh, now 4 of 14 shooting. She's taken as many shots as South has in the whole game. Hopi's shot is way, uh, pardon me, Vogel's shot is way off. See if South gets better. Oh, there's wide open. Yeah, nice pass inside, putting it up and in was Maddie Ignacevic. Just like that, it's very simple. One of the problems South had was getting the ball in the middle in that first half. It kept getting stolen. Anna Martin got it in the middle, kicked it right out. It's like uh, Opal's not even looking for the shot, Chris. Sharing her with a three. She has 17 points now. That was her third three-point basket of the game. Bull taking it right down Main Street. Had her shot blocked, out of bounds, but uh, good drive by Halley. You know what I saw? If Amy File was a little bit higher up, closer to the free throw line, it'll create more opening and space for uh, Maddie Agnosovic to maybe get another open shot there. But when two girls are standing in the same place, it's hard to, 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 to get the ball there. Right. A traffic jam. Holt has it in the backcourt. Now she brings it up. Shot is off. Good try, though, by Lindsey Horan. Ball goes out of bounds. Nasovic applying a little solo pressure. Opie, bango. She's been kind of quiet, Marty. Just six points, she's got two threes. Yeah, like, well, it's like I said before, she didn't even seem like she was looking for her shot. Right. That shot is no good. Goes out of bounds off north. Lady Red Wings will keep it down on this end. Yeah. Opie just one of, excuse me, two of seven. She was one of six in the first half. That three shot is off, no good. Abby Urban had a couple open looks, but uh, couldn't get it to go in. And of course, you know the best thing about Abby. Oh boy, left-handed. You got it, baby. Just, it's amazing that a left-hander is missing. <laughs> <laughs> I made a career out of missing. And missing the open guy, too. <laughs> Ooh, that was tough. <laughs> that one really hurt, Chris. <laughs> oh, he shot is no good. And uh, goes off of uh, Hannah Martin. Hey, I thought we were a pretty good team at pickleball. Yeah. Pickleball's a good game. I gave Chris a little pep talk before our match. I said, why don't you try and play good? <laughs> it worked. Oh, a nice hustle to get back on defense by uh, Belmore. Kicks it up to Opie, and then she gets bumped by File. I didn't notice at first, Chris, but when uh, 
Lindsay Horan committed her foul. She, that would gave her three. Sheringer's uh, three ball from the corner was no good. Good pressure defense. Oh, inside was Agnosovic, and she's got another easy one. That's what I mentioned before, that's open there. Uh, you just gotta create a little more space like that and uh, create the easy one. What, uh, what creates that opening? Well, I mean, Amy's just gotta be up higher. She's gotta be closer to the free throw line, timeout. Three ball is no. good that time by sharing her. Yes. It's uh, 44 to 12. 30, a full timeout, uh, Roberts. We can take a short break and come back. 14:35 left. North on top. We missed you at the game last week. Is everything all right? Hey, uh, just haven't been feeling like me lately. You know I'm here for you, right? That's a cut. Beautiful. Acting is one thing. Talking about suicide in real life is another. In the military, you take challenges head on. And now it's your turn to do the same for our veterans. Be there. Learn how you can start the conversation at betherefoveterans.com. I dare you. I dare you to change the world. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. I dare you to be somebody important. Like be a teacher. Or a reality TV star. I dare you to stand up here. To call the shots. To be a role model. An inspiration. An innovator. To be a teacher. Think you can change my life? Make me excited about science like you? Have a career that really means something? Then do it. I dare you. About 20 minutes after this uh, ball game, we'll have the uh, boys action. Uh, we look forward to bringing you that. And uh, after tonight's ball game, our next game will be uh, Concordia University at Lakeland University. That's on January 15th. That's a Tuesday night. And look forward to uh, that game. Bolt almost lost it, was able to gather it back in and get the shot off, but uh, couldn't get it to go. Opie on a little bit of a bust out, but South gets back on defense. Every shot attempt by North so far has been a three here in the second half. Or two, excuse me, three of seven. And there goes that plan, Chris. Missing the layup attempt was here. But that's uh, good information. Got to extend that zone. Bushi, no good. Ignacevic with the rebound. Gets it out to Bushi again. Shot fake. And the 12-footer is no good. And then stolen away by Opie. Oh, a little more muscle on that pass. Wide open for the layup was here, but uh, Opie not able to get it there. Okay, Chris. That's what would happen a lot of times when you were throwing the ball to me. <laughs> Take that. Cross-court pass to uh, Bolt, but uh, Vogel playing pretty good defense. That shot just wouldn't go down. Files rebound, putback is no good. And we get a whistle. Nasvik competing. Committing the foul, that's her first. South now with a team, three team fouls. North with no team fouls. Nice pass. Yeah, Opie uh, really being unselfish. Getting it inside. Bolt not able to go anywhere, had to kick it back out. And, uh, North playing pretty tight defense on their zone. Bushi with two. Third basket of the half for South. 
Only had to, two in the first. I was going to say, and it took him over eight minutes to get the first one. Opie, bango wide open, and she nailed it. She has nine points. Mentioned she uh, fifth in the league in scoring. You talked about the league being top heavy, Chris. Who are the uh, top girls teams in the, the conference? Well, Bayport leads at 8-0. And uh, Pierre is, excuse me, Bayport and Preble are 8-0. Pierre comes next at 6-3, and three, Southwest 5-3. and three. So Bayport, that's a nice team, Bayport. Meredith Opie on a great block. Kick out to Vogel, rainbow three does not go. Rietbrock hustling to get the ball, but they call a tie up. That was, cool. that was four on four, Chris, for that rebound. <laughs> Sounds like hockey. Yeah. You know, when we would play pickup basketball on Fridays after school or Wednesday nights, I always thought the best game was the four on four game for us guys. Really? Yeah, because I just think it opened the, the floor up a little more. What do you think, let me ask you this then, what's the hardest part about playing basketball? For me? Well, <laughs> or for the average kind of novice wow. player. Wow, that's a really good. This is, I'm heading towards why I think four on four is a little easier. Well, you let me know. I, that's you don't a good know? question. I think one of the hardest things is for a player to know where to go when they don't have the ball. And if you got four people on the floor without the ball, <laughs> that's four, four guys all scratching their head. Yeah. Where if you only have a four on four game, you only have three guys and it opens the floor a little bit more. Yeah. But that's just me. Yep. Like right now there's four girls on the perimeter, one on the inside, and you shoot up a three. It's That's how a modern kind of basketball is played now though. Yeah, exactly. There's a wide oh, open. Yeah, wide open and putting the shot up and in was Rietbrock and she has six points now. Three of three from the floor. I think handling pressure in games, you know, how can you handle pressure to me is makes, you know, for a good player, not good player. Right. Don't want to turn the ball over. I agree with you there. It just comes with experience and knowing sometimes you can go backwards before you go forward, not making the game too fast. I always love playing defense, Marty. Same with baseball. I always love to play the defensive part. Almost better than the offensive part. I well, like well, that's what happens when you can't hit. <laughs> <laughs> Although you hit pretty doggone good in softball, I'll tell you. <laughs> but uh, basketball, too, is I like playing defense and hustling and that part of the game. And Believe it or not, I actually like making passes better than I like shooting. Well, too. I think that I finished that way, too. That's, you know, at the end of my career, sort of understood what was going on better. Hallie Bolt's shot is no good. And uh, goes off the north. South will keep it. Coming into the ball game for the Lady Red Wings is Sarah Meisner, number 25. And coming in for North is Maya Denning. You know, we mentioned the game changing too. I mean, here it's the North girls have already shot 21 three-point shots. You know, instead of going in to take two pointers, you know, they, they shoot more of the uh, three-pointer. Changed the game quite a bit. Yeah, you're right there, That's for sure. Some people think it's not for the best. People all just shooting a three. And we've talked over the years about post play, how it's not like it used to be. Ooh, thought it was gonna get blocked, but uh, there's a whistle on the floor, and I think they're gonna get uh, Caitlin Stricker on the foul. Even in the NBA, there's not a lot of true post centers anymore. No. If you're a big player, you got to be able to shoot the three as well. Not the uh, number of. Scotty three. Pippen was ahead of his time. The yeah. point forward position. Yeah. True. Uh, the true center is 
Kind of lost. They're not able to get either shot in, but uh, Opie picks up the loose change and puts it in. She now has 11 points. Sheringer with 20, Opie with 11. Opie with seven rebounds now as well. Bolt steps through the lane, got to the basket, got the shot off, but couldn't get it to go. Good save by Bolt, but uh, left uh, North with a one lady advantage. Opie spins in the lane, shoots and scores. Oh my. And is fouled. Getting a little bit closer to that average, Marty. She's at yeah. 13 right now. Slow start, strong finisher. Oron picked up her fourth foul. She's gonna come out. File. Amy File coming in. This is uh, Meredith's first trip to the line. And it rims out. 53 to 14. It's been all north the entire game. Shot no good. Opie with another rebound, Chris. That shot was missed by Stricker. Three ball. <laughs> By North is no good. Denning missing that shot. Oh. Bolt going hard, got the shot off, drew the foul. <laughs> Sheringer picked up the foul. Allie's a one for three from the line. It's her first free throws of the second half. Macy Shetter making her first appearance, number 40. Ignacevic coming back in, replacing Meisner. Bolt breaks the ice, makes that one. She now has four points in the ball game. Oh, nice drive, a little spin on her uh, layup attempt is no good by Hare. Nice pass. Agnosevic from the other side scores again. She has nine points. No North players to bring up the ball. Agnosevic uh, not even averaging Oh, well, let me see, got the wrong list here. Opie's shot is no good. And there's a scramble. Nasevic averaging 1.8 points per game. That average will go up a little bit. Vogel and Gritzmacher coming in along with Belmore. We're over halfway done with the uh, second half. Vogel with a three-pointer. She has nine. Five threes made I have for North in the second half. Yeah, they've been firing them up, that's for sure. How many did they have in the first half, Chris? Do you know offhand? Two. That's it? Yeah, I had them two for 11, I think. You know what? I got Sheringer with, uh, with two, but I got Opie with one also. Yep, you're right. Yep, yep, they had three. Yep. Sheringer had two and Opie with one. So that would be eight for the game then? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Just the way you draw it up, Marty. <laughs> that one North girl jumped out of the way, didn't want to get hit by the ball. It was rolling on the floor. <laughs> Lindsay Horan. Horan coming back in.
Nasevic's shot is no good. And storming in for the rebound was Hare. Boy, she took that one away with authority. Shedder had it on the wing. Vogel's shot is no good, but she did pick up the foul. Vile picks up her third. Vogel will be at the line. She had a 0 for 1 trip in the first half. She'll have two here. Checking in the south, number 20, Karen Bergen. She's now in double figures, Chris, with uh, 10. Karen Bergen in for south. I think this is her first appearance. I think you're right. Six foot sophomore. Another free throw is good. The uh, running clock doesn't exist anymore? Uh, I think it's 35 points. Well, 40, pardon me, 40 points. We talked about this. Uh, it is 40. <laughs> That's why I was wondering. I thought. Oh, now and it's running. It's continue to run. And once you get to the running clock, it never right. stops. So you can get, get it down to two points, and the clock's going to continue to run. Right. But yeah, we had a game, I think it was. Uh, it was the game you weren't here at, against Notre Dame. They had it up to over, well over 30. And matter of fact, it was over 35, and I thought that was the threshold, but it wasn't. And I think you have to be in the second half of the second right. half. Correct. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it was just once it got there. Second half, you mean? Yeah. Ooh. You know, I thought that uh, Belmore walked twice <laughs> on her way to the basket. It wasn't called. Well, you know, figure it this way. Cause if you're not going to call the first one, why call the second one? Right? I mean, just let her go. Full timeout. Full timeout, Robert. 58 to 17, north on top with uh, 6 11 left. to your money whatever you want to get smart about you can find it smartaboutmoney.org smart about money is a free online resource we are a non-commercial non-profit organization dedicated to helping people just like you get information about money for everything from how to build an emergency fund to how to deal with job uncertainty smartaboutmoney.org has the answers you've been looking for smartaboutmoney.org the easy place to start when you want to get smart about your finances after tonight, uh, South's next game will be on Tuesday, January 15th, when they head to Bayport. And uh, Chris had already mentioned that's going to really be a tough haul. Oh boy. Bayport 8 0, and uh, I believe Bayport won the first game 90 to 17. Uh, North's next game will be Friday, January 18th, when Pulaski comes to Sheboygan. Uh, Pulaski is 3 and 5 as we speak. Hannah Martin staying with it, was rewarded with a basket. She has four points, two in each half. The shot is no good. Good look though by Bushi. He hasn't been afraid to fire it up from out there, Chris. Nasevic cross court pass. Oh, Hallie Bolt with a great drive to the basket, but she couldn't finish. Belmore hard to the basket, draws the foul. Bushi commits the foul. That's the eighth team foul on South. It's 
Sam Davis checking in for North. Uh, Hannah Martin coming out. We mentioned uh, struggling from the floor is South, just 18% uh, from the floor in the game. They cut down their turnovers here in the second half, Marty. Which is a good thing. They just can't put the ball into the hole. As, I, as it happens there, they get a turn. Yeah. yeah, that happens. Belmore's shot is no good. Tried to get it in there. Boron came into the game, Marty, for South fifth or third in the league in rebounds. Seven and a half a game. She's only has four so far tonight. I have South for just five turnovers in the second half compared to 17 in the first half. So they've cleaned that up, created some more shots. The problem is the shots just keep still missing. But uh, we mentioned before, shots are better than turnovers. Horan with a good recovery on that high pass. North staying in the uh, zone defense. South uh, doing a good job of working the ball wrong. There you go. Meisner for three. She has five. I think that's their first three. Uh, they didn't have any in the first half. That is their first three. It's kind of strange too, Marty. As we said, South came in averaging 27 points a game, giving up 61. It's just about right where we're at. Emma Snellis in the ball game. We forgot to mention her name, number 12. Drive, fake, shot, shatter, good. Macy for two. Ball tipped away, and then we got a scramble for the ball. Karen Bergen, part of the two girls in the tie-up. It's really strange, Marty, in, in less than a month, we'll uh, have this game again. Yeah, in February. Kayla Lloyd Early in the ball February, game. Yeah. I, what is it? No, it's not the 12. We can look at our schedule. February 9th. Yeah, not too long from now. Bingo! Bushi for three, another three. Lady Red Wings raining threes all of a sudden. And to their credit, they've had those shots all night. It's yes. just they haven't been able to get them in. North patiently working the ball around. Three ball is no good. Sinellis with the rebound, drives it hard to the hoop. Got her own rebound. Rolling down to a minute left. Chris is gonna go downstairs, have a couple interviews after the game. And we'll get ready to do uh, game number two. Nice two-point basket, or three-point basket. Gritzmacher. She saw some action in the first half and uh, showed what she could do here in the second half. Meisner, no good. South with the rebound, but uh, couldn't keep it, turned it over. Megan Little on top had it. Gives it up to Sinellis, her shot is no good. And then it goes out of bounds, but North will keep it. Clock is running, 10 seconds left. And this is going to be the ball game. North not going to take another shot. 
And North wins this one by a score of 66 to 23. There's a lot of tree branches and dry brush over here. We should probably move the bonfire over there. I'm guessing Smokey liked that idea. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? I dare you. I dare you to change the world. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. I dare you to be somebody important. Like be a teacher. Or a reality TV star. I dare you to stand up here. To call the shots. To be a role model. An inspiration. An innovator. To be a teacher. Think you can change my life? Make me excited about science like you? Have a career that really means something? Then do it. I dare you. different about this week than other weeks. 
summer, and then we have games on Mondays and Thursdays. And so we have all sorts of different um, grades coming to the open gym. So we're working with a lot of different grades and a lot of different people. And I think that exposure really helps us in our um, regular season. And you yourself, what do you work on in the offseason? Um, mostly shooting. We have the just spits out balls back to us as we shoot. So um, I would say shooting mostly. Now I'm going to ask you, ask them, what, what are you going to remember of these North South games as being a senior and playing in them the last few years? I think just um, when we first come out, just seeing the amount yeah. of people um, and the energy in the gym is so much different than any regular game. So I think that taking that energy and putting it into um, our play is what I'm going to miss the most. Well, they said they were nervous doing these interviews, probably more than the game, but they came out with a big victory tonight. Congratulations, ladies, and we'll see you in a month. With that, we're going to send it back to Marty. Good job, you did great. You did great. Great job on the interview, Chris, and uh, great job by the girls uh, being interviewed by you. Uh, leading scorer tonight was Julia Scheringer with 20 points. She was followed uh, with her 20. Uh, Meredith Opie had 13, and then the third double-digit score for uh, North was Sydney Vogel with 11. South, Maddie Ognasevic had nine points. Dina Bushy and Sarah Meisner had five, and Hallie Bolt had four. In the end, it was a 66-23 win for the Northsiders. They run their record to now eight and seven, four and seven in conference, and South drops to 0-13, 0 and 9 in conference. Uh, with that, we're going to step out for about a minute, and then uh, Chris and I'll do the opening for this second ball game. <laughs>